do a balancing trick. Ooh, Dink. See? Why don't you try balancing two bricks? Whoa, whoa. Careful. Oh. One, two. That's oh. it. Oh, look. There's Boz and Tizzy. Hello. 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 That looks good, Dink. But can you balance three bricks? I'll give it a try. Whoa. One, two, three. You can do it, Dink. I bet you can balance four. Four? Uh -oh. Yes. Let me flip for you. One, two, three, four. <laughs> You're doing it, Dink. <laughs> Am I? I can't see. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. I wonder, what do you think? Why not? Why not what? Why not try five? One, two, three, four, five. Yay! You can QB dooby do it! Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, oh dear. What's wrong? I think I'm going to. to <laughs> Five bricks. That's the most I've ever done. That must be the Cubie's lid balancing record. And now it's time for an adventure. Yes. Let's go to the music box. There's music behind every door. There are wonderful sounds galore. Pinging and zinging, dinging and ringing. Let's go there now and hear more. Ready, everyone? Yes! Now. Wow! It's the music box. Brilliant! Come on, Cubies! Which door shall we open today? Oh, I don't know which room to choose. Ah! This one? In here. The triangle room. Look! Oh, what about this, eh? Hello, triangles. Excuse me, but I'm not a triangle. I see what you mean. Triangles have one, two, three sides. Oh, Daddy! <laughs> You're tickling me! <laughs> and this shape has one, two, three, four, five sides. Which makes me a pentangle. A pentangle? How interesting. Why is a pentangle in the triangle room? Oh, there was nowhere else for me to go. I'd like to hear how a pentangle sounds. Would you? Oh, good. I'm not really a musical instrument, but I love singing. Yeah! We're all different shapes. We're all different shapes. We all live together and we all have fun. I love my shape. We love your shape. Sing about shapes now, everyone. Here is a circle. It goes round and round. If it's a drum, it makes a loud sound. I am a triangle, as you see. I will ding on the count of three. One, two, three. We're all different shapes. We're all different shapes. We all live together and we all have fun. I love my shape. We love your shape. Sing about shapes now, everyone. 
cube is a cube's square on all sides. Squares on the top and bottom besides. Of our shapes we're very proud. And when we flip our lids we sound quite loud. We're all different shapes, we're all different shapes. We're all, different shapes. We all live together and we all have fun. We love our shape. We love your shape. Sing about shapes now everyone. I'm a bent angle, you can count my sides. One, two, three, four, five. That's the right amount. When I play, I make a ding. But most of all, I like to sing. We're all different shapes, we're all different shapes. We all live together and we all have fun. We love our shape. We love our shape. Sing about shapes now, everyone. Yay! That was good. Yeah. Great music. Sorry, but we must go now. Oh. But we'll come back soon. Yay! <laughs> Bye. 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 I know. Let's go and see Learning Wall. <laughs> Know any counting games? Oh yes, boss. I know lots of counting games. How many fish can you count here? There's a red one with black stripes. There's another. That makes two. I think it's a goldfish. There's one in the corner. That's one, two, three. Any more? Oh, there's one. There's one. Which makes one, two, three, four. Good. Now, see how many animals you can count with four legs. Oh, I can see one. A giraffe. And look over there. An elephant. That makes two. Cats have four legs, don't they? Of course, Dink. There's a cat, then. That's three animals. Let's do another one, Learning Wall. A difficult one this time. OK. How many of these can fly, Cubies? Oh, there's a bird. You see it by the sea. A seagull. <coughs> <laughs> You've only found one flyer so far. Um... The bee! That flies. That's one, two. And so does the flutterby. I, I, I mean, the butterfly. That's one, two, three. Look, there's another bird. It's an eagle, which makes one, two, three, four. Any more? Look carefully. Um, uh, I can see it. The bat. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, that's right. Time for just one more. Now, see how many farm animals you can find. There's a cow. That's one animal that lives on a farm. And there's a horse there. One, two. There's a pig there, I'm sure. There it is. That makes one, two, three. I can see a dock. That's one, two, three, four. You found them all. Well Yay! done, Cubies. Well, I must be off. Bye. Goodbye. That was fun. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, Cubies, it's time to do some exercises. Exercises? Of course. Uh. Ready, everyone? Oh. And come on, everybody, and bend, and stretch, and now we're going to jump, and clap, that's it, and again, and bend, oh, come on, Dink, keep up, and jump, and clap, and for the last time, here we go, and bend, ready to stretch, and jump, and now for the last time, clap. That was fun! So where are we going now? Let's go to the maze and take a look. Let's tell a story with Big Book. The jungle can be lots of fun. 
Come on, Cubies, let's choose one. Who's, Who's going, going to flip, flip their lid today and take us to a new place of play? <laughs> can I choose, please? Go yes, of course you can, Dick. Well done, Dick. <laughs> The artist. Thank you, bees. You are just in time to be in the story. Oh, yes, oh, please. Yeah, please. Good. Once there was a village called Five Trees Hill. It had that name because there was a hill nearby with five beautiful trees on it. One, two, three, four, five. The people who lived there were happy and led a quiet life. Then, one day, a giant came to live on the hill. The villagers didn't know that this was a friendly giant. He was shy, but the villagers were scared. Look! A giant! <gasps> oh, no! One day, the giant had a very itchy back. Oh, no! Oh, dear! Oh, ah! Oh. It's so itchy, and I can't reach to scratch. So, he pulled out one of the trees and used it as a back scratcher. A tree? He must have been strong. That's better. But the villagers were very upset. How dare he take one of our trees? He's such a nasty giant. They'll have to change the name to Four Trees Hill now. A little while later, the giant was in his kitchen when he had a thought. I need a stand to hang my mugs on. So he went to Five Trees Hill and pulled up another tree. Oh, oh no! no! It made a perfect stand to hang all his mugs on. But the villagers were furious. That mean, horrible giant has taken another one of our trees. No, there were only three trees on Five Trees Hill. Oh, that's very sad. One day, the giant made himself a bowl of Chinese noodles. I could do with some chopsticks to eat these noodles with, he said. What are chopsticks? They are sticks you eat with, like knives and forks. Oh. So, he went to Five Trees Hill and took two of the trees. The villagers could hardly believe their eyes. Oh. This is too much. Something must be done. The bravest of us will have to go and talk to this giant. That's me. I'm the bravest villager. <gasps> Ooh. You must stop taking all our trees. Our village is called Five Trees Hill, and that means there should be five trees there, not one. I'm so sorry, said the giant. I didn't know that. I'll think of a way to put things right. Well done, Doody. It's not easy talking to a giant. So, that spring, the giant planted four new seeds in the ground. One, two, two three, four. And the seeds grew into four beautiful young trees. So now, Five Trees Hill had five trees again. That's right, Tizzy. And the villagers were happy. As for the giant, he was happy now too. And the next time he had an itchy back, he had lots of friends to scratch it for him. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great story, artist. My pleasure. Bye, artist. See you again soon. Goodbye. Let's see if Learning Wall can tell us more. Follow me. We're coming. Hello, Learning Wall. Hello, Cubies. Do you know what happened to the five little aliens? Oh, no. 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 Please, Please tell us. us. Five little aliens landed on Mars. They opened the door and took out their cars. It was rather dark, so they switched on their lights. Whizzed round the planet and saw all the sights. Does it really look like that on Mars? I don't think so, Doody. It's just a story. Everybody had a wonderful day, and one little alien decided to stay. 
Oh, just four now. Look. Ethan. Four little aliens went to the moon. It didn't take long, just an afternoon. They bounced in the craters. They played hide and seek. They liked it so much, they stayed for a week. And when it was time to fly away, one little alien decided to stay. So now there are only three aliens. Yes. Three little aliens went to the sun. It was very, very hot, and it wasn't much fun. I'm not surprised. So they zoomed off to Venus, where they liked the weather. They had a lovely picnic and sang songs together. I wonder what aliens sound like when they're singing. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> it turned into a holiday, so one little alien decided to stay. Two little aliens saw Pluto on their screen. Now that's a place that we've never been. They landed one morning and went to explore. But they'd seen the whole planet by half past four. Pluto's a very safe place to play. So one little alien decided to stay. Just one little alien left now. I wonder where he'll travel to next. One little alien came down to Earth. His name was Dibbly Dobbly Durf. There he is. He climbed a mountain and looked at the view. He liked all the colors, the brown, green and blue. He said, I'm never going to go away. So the last little alien decided to stay. Yay! <laughs> oh, great. That was a great rhyme learning wall. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks. thanks. Bye for now. See you again soon. Bye. Let's go. Come on. Wait for me. Thank you. Not so fast. Right then, Cubies. Everyone here? Let's do a Cubie count. One. Two. Three. Only three? But there's meant to be four of us. You forgot yourself, Boz. Oh, yes. <laughs> I make four. Four cubies. Let's go. <laughs> oh, come on, cubies. Right then.